optimal diaphragm strengthener. The diaphragm strengthener is a re breathing resistance trainer. All breathing resistance trainers create resistance, which creates more force or more effort to breathe in and possibly to breathe out. That creates tension, tension in the rib cage. So we highly recommend after any usage of a breathing resistance trainer, including the diaphragm strengthener, to use the strapping technique to release the tension in the rib cage. So now for our technique, how we use the diaphragm strengthener. First, uh, you cover two holes, the, a large hole and a small hole, with a piece of scotch tape. Or you can use your fingers if you don't have any scotch tape. Use one finger for a small and a large hole, but it's a lot easier to tape it. Then you breathe in through the tube and get the ping pong ball to rise to the top of the tube, just like this. Make sure you keep the tube straight up and down so that you can bend this tube a little bit, be like a little bit like a saxophone. Then what I want you to do is change directions very quickly so that you can blow out without the ball dropping down. So it's going to look like this. OK, you got that. You can stop this and wait until you do that before you move on. Just put the pause button on. All right, now the next thing is you want to get so you can do it just enough to make the ping pong ball waffle at the top of the tube. I'll demonstrate. Okay, you see it just sort of at the very top. Okay, now, then when you change direction, you want it to do the same thing. So when you're going inhale, and when you're exhaling, you want it to still stay at the top of the tube, waffling a little bit. I'll demonstrate. That gives you a minimal amount of ex air expenditure to maintain the flotation of the ping pong ball. So the next thing we want to do is to See how long we can do that. The implication is that the longer we maintain the inhale and the exhale, then the more diaphragm rise we have to use to do that. So which means the more diaphragm rise we're developing. We don't want a breathing resistance trainer that gets us stronger with just very little diaphragm rise. We want one or we want to use one that will allow us to exercise the diaphragm through its complete range of motion. So the longer we use the air going in and going out, then the higher the diaphragm must have been to be able to effect that. So the way we measure that is with a stopwatch. The stopwatch, first we get this thing that we can do it well. All right. Then when we're going to measure the inhale or the exhale, we just get it going and we take a stopwatch so that when we're ready to time it, we start it. And then when we can't do any more, we stop it. And I'll demonstrate. And then stop it. OK, that was five seconds. Uh, you event, that's a minimum. I want you to be able to do a minimum of five seconds in each direction. The record so far is 13 seconds. Whoops. If it fails, if, you, if it drops down, you have to start over. So,
No, no, that was about six seconds. So with practice, you get better and better at it, and the time gets longer and longer and longer. Make sure after each diaphragm strengthener exercise session that you use the strapping technique to release the tension you've created with the diaphragm strengthener. That's it, the optimal diaphragm strengthener.